Today we're going to be talking a little bit about storage and unboxing a new unit that I bought um, called the DS1621 Plus from Synology and how I got there and why I bought it. If you're a music producer or video editor, you probably have lots of hard drives sitting all over the place and after a while it can get messy. For me, I've used Lacey and Seagate drives for the past 10 years and they've been pretty reliable. I've only had one or two failures. The main problem I'm trying to fix right now is noise related. The Lacey drives that are located under my speaker to the right of me hum and make a lot of noise and when I'm recording acoustic guitar or vocals I end up having to turn them off. Which kind of sucks because they're running my backups and if I was recording a session and it wasn't backing up I could lose all that data. So my initial thought was to go ahead and buy longer Thunderbolt 3 and USB cables and just run them into my closet that's over here and just put the drives over there. But really long Thunderbolt connections are super expensive and uh, that ended up not being possible for me. So the real thing that I wish was possible was to connect those two drives to my IMAX Ethernet port, but they don't accept Ethernet. So then I started doing a little bit of research and ended up in the whole NAS area. After about a year of just like overthinking stuff, I ended up pulling the trigger on the NAS DS1621 Plus. And it's a relatively new unit, so I'm thinking it'll last me a long time. And I also bought two Iron Wolf Pro drives to go with it. So to sum everything up really quick, I bought a NAS from Synology because you can transfer over long Ethernet cables and not lose read and write performance, allowing me to place my NAS outside my studio and not have to deal with the noise. Um, and the other thing that's really cool about this storage system is I can mix and match drives and add more space as I need it. If any of that was super confusing, just drop a comment down and I will respond to it. Let's get to the unboxing. Come on! Okay, so it was loud for a second, but if this is the general loudness of it, I don't think I'll have any problems. Awesome. 